see in that corner down there, Andy? Right, you with me? Yeah, I'm watching. Is the corner that's back in after I cut back okay. and the bottom of the floor. Yep. Top of the floor. So we need to come up, you know, three eighths or so. channel here splitting off to a vanity and eventually a shower back there in our trailer bathroom addition here at the pex lines in had to drill some holes through this doorway wall here we had some hard oak and two bits of aluminum to get through some more hard oak down there I'm going to tap in right after the water heater on the cold and hot lines that run vertically to this sink here. We're going to tee off and that will be for our sink and vanity in the rear and shower back here. We've got electrical all plumbed in. That silver um, metal cased wire. Oops. Get a circle right back in there. You can see, oops, there you can't, there it is. There's the silver wire going all the way back around there. Got our plumbing in here. We have not teed it in, but we've got the white is our cold. And there's our red, so we're gonna tee in blue and red there. Put some shutoffs in there, and there's our electric going in. That's where we've run it. These are gonna be nice and pushed up against the door. Then we'll have a little door jam step that dad makes just to get smooth. We got tons of room. Look at that lip. So I think he said we've got almost two inches up to, to here to play with to smooth something down to the floor to hide all of that. Get through our holes nicely. And thank goodness I got enough electrical to run around here. We gotta run some 90s with our water lines. We're gonna tee our other water lines off come over here to our shower. Still have to cut those out. Take some of this carpet off this wall. We got that carpet off. Going to bring the electrical up here. We'll have a AC switch next to our DC switches. So our interior DC lights, it's exterior DC light. That'll probably be like awning light or something. Gonna change that. And then uh, have a uh, switch for vanity light and a GFCI so mom can run her hair dryer. And we've got more than enough wire to do it. Get the, uh, let me get the stool for out here. Well, we got our template. <laughs> there it is. This is, this will be the most expensive trailer that I've ever cut a hole in. So this is an exciting afternoon for me. Thanks for really looking up in life. This is mom's trailer too, so I don't have as much shared responsibility. Some responsibility. I didn't put the bill on this one. And Dad confirmed that that was square. That was eyeball square too. We didn't even get the ruler out, so. Feeling confident. Sawzall's already up on the roof. We've got a metal blade loaded. We're about one good drill hole away from having a good time and getting started here. All right. You get to hold the camera. Let's go outside. All installed. 
wired in here. Right here. <coughs> it's got to be more of a vinyl or something. Yeah, that's fine. Like Let's see. Well, I mean, if there's moisture in here. Well, there's going to be moisture in here, and if you get mature, it's going to get ugly. What did you put on my wall like that up? installations but I am excited look where that comes right within yeah it's it's in good shape in distance oh this is gonna be fantastic but yeah, it's a good player platform <laughs> look at that oh my god wonder how tall the wall is well no I know that the wall is 90 about 90 right here oh, thank god Wait. measure <clears throat> measure from there up and see how tall your surroundings oh that's the one that's not long enough is it Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Dad is. He is framing out the walls. This bit, I believe, is just glued and screwed directly down, and these two cables are for the television that sits there. Pretty sure that's our antenna mount, and that's our main power and AV and everything else coming in from the VCR and power area. We got the shower wall in that was a mess spray foam went everywhere definitely drill holes and fill it with spray foam don't try and fill it and then push the wall back up there that that was a mistake um or spray it in from the corners or something plumbing is all in dad and i got this back wall up we have that on time lapse dad got the bottom bit up by himself that morning and then he built this Nice little cover for our fender. That's where the wheels uh, protrude into this area of the trailer. So we are going to have to account for that over here with our vanity cabinet as well. But this is the final section of wall. Well, this and the shower, but I believe he is building this out right now. Um, this will sit out, I think, four inches, he said, uh, to give us room 
we ever did have to get back to plumbing and to properly fit the shower enclosure. So. I'll get these in place. area is all prepped here for sealing application. Dad is trying to heat the workshop up. It says it's a little above 60 degrees. It's going for 70 in the workshop. Projected 55 and windy today. We got the trailer Either turned on. I'm going to step in here real quick. Do a once around. Got the vent taped off, wires taped up, tacked in place where they need to go. Everything else looks ready. Got our temporary lighting still over here on the wall. Um, in the meantime, he's put up a few more plywood panels to kind of finish off uh, framing this sucker in. Wow, well, he's got the times. He did anything to the door. No, he did not yet. And then that whole piece is going to be the shower back here. And he's got that sitting outside somewhere. Almost there. We just got to figure out a backing for the doors. And we got our cabinet going over here to cover that. So I'll be back out at 1.30. Very exciting. Mm -hmm.